What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. I am working on something that I am very excited about. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build the board and the arch for an entire Pickler Triangle set. If you don't know what a Pickler Triangle is, I will show you here. There's a lot to cover in this entire set, so I have chopped it up into two parts, two separate videos. So depending on when you're watching this video, if it's brand new, fresh off the press, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel because in a week from now, you will see the second follow up to that video. Thank you guys. I appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this build. I started this project like I normally do by ripping materials down to size. The climbing wall is gonna be the easiest part of this whole set. So that's what I decided to start with here. I already ripped the length of my circular saw, so one pass through the table saw got me the size that I was going for. For the handholds of the wall, I did my best to draw a rock shape, but I didn't really put too much effort into it, because when I cut them out, I'm not really planning on following the lines to the T anyways. If there was one part of this job that doesn't have to be perfect, this is it. As long as your final product is something that resembles a rock, I think you're good to go. After a little sanding to soften the edges, I set up my router to round over all of the edges on the pieces. This is what's going to make them way easier to hold on to. While the router was out, I went ahead and rounded over all of the edges of the actual wall as well. This is made to be a kid's toy, so round edges are definitely the way to go. The climbing wall is meant to be able to rest on the arch that I'll build later in this video. The way that I'm going to achieve that is by making some rails that will attach to the back of the board. I run these through the router as well, but only on the side that faces up. I want to make sure and get rid of any sharp edges that could splinter or hurt if they happen to be landed on. I gave it a light sanding to get rid of any uneven edges or burn marks that I saw, and then went straight to staining it. After that was all done, I went straight to my product tester to make sure that it was exactly what she wanted. Before I started building the arches that would be the final product, I started making this template. I wanted one perfect example I could reference for both legs of the final arch. I made this marking jig just to get a perfect circle by screwing a piece of wood to my bench top and making a hole for my pin at the end. It worked out way better than freehanding it. It's really easy to end up with lumpy arches, so I rough cut the pieces out with the jigsaw and then snuck up on the lines with my cut saw shaping disc and my sander. This to me seemed like the only way to get perfect lines outside of cutting it out on a CNC, obviously.
Getting into those tight spots right up in the corner was impossible with the sander, so I used a file to do that, and it worked out great. Another quick jig I came up with to center the dowels on the arches was this block of wood that had a lip to right along the edge of the piece. It's a super simple idea that ends up being super precise. I taped both legs of the arch together to make sure that the holes would line up perfectly. I'm going to be drilling two holes, one that will go all the way through and be the pilot hole for the screws, and one that will go halfway through and be a recess for the dowel that will sit inside of it. I cut the dowels for the arch 20 inches. The width is up to you, but it can't be any shorter than 15 inches because that's the width of the climbing wall. And the climbing wall is meant to rest on the rungs of the arch. I'll include dimensions to both of the builds in the description down below if you'd like to follow a more strict cut sheet. I went ahead and had my product tester try this one out too to see what she thought. Get it girl. Where you go? Bam! Say hi. Hi. Bonk. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate you sticking around to the end, and if you did, please like the video, please subscribe. And like I said, stay tuned for the follow-up video to this build. The next build will cover the actual Pickler Triangle. 
which is the focal point of the entire build. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.